Yo sa yo. I am David Defonso. I'm from the Philippines. I'm 22 years old and I'm 64. Uh, well, um, I saw how uh, welcome welcoming Korea was uh, with the other Filipino players uh, like SJ, RJ, and Abando, and uh, Gutang as well. Uh, so um, I was really fortunate enough to get an offer from KT, and uh, that was uh, right after my Ateneo season in the UAP in the Philippines. And uh, yeah, that's how it happened. Uh, yeah, because um, yeah, that's I heard that it was the first season that. Uh, they started accepting Filipinos because um, I heard that um, I, like all I know is uh, only Japan was like offering that Asian player quota for Filipinos, and then thankfully um, after a year or two, I think when Japan opened it for the Philippines, uh, I think Korea as well opened it, and it's the first season, and you know I'm really thankful for that, and of course it's a really big de deciding factor of why I went here to Korea as well. Um, well. I think it would be a much more different situation, you know, um, because uh, entering into a professional league, professional team in the middle of the season is much more different and much more difficult to um, to enter and then um, actually make a lot of progress and contribute, you know, unless 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 you're like a LeBron James or Kobe Bryant, I guess, you know. But uh, you know, I'm still trying my best. Uh, to actually adjust, and uh, if I was really here in the preseason, uh, I would it would be it would be a much different situation because I would be have I would have been able to bond more with my teammates and uh, especially with the coaches as well, and I would get more adjusted to the weather and all and, uh, and all other factors as well. But you know, I'm I'm slowly getting there, and um, hopefully, uh, uh, one of these games this season uh, before the season ends, I'll have a better game, and you know, I'm looking forward to the next season as well. Well, number one is uh, I'm really more of a team player, and I can uh, I have this versatility, and I can actually play point guard to until power forward, you know. Um, and it's just that uh, you know I'm strong, I'm tall, and um, I have this sh I have shooting, I have I have I have my shooting as well. And uh, um, I was I, back in college, I was able to take on the role of a team player and also a star player who um, re who the team uh, revolves around. You know, I was given a lot of um, freedom and a, and a lot of um, plays and they, they just really uh, worked the offense around me. So I was able to um, experience both ends of the spectrum. So um, in the KBL, you know, hopefully when I get adjusted, uh, I'll be more of uh, both of those players. Whenever the offense needs me to contribute, I'll contribute. And whenever the offense needs me to, uh, or whenever the team needs me to be more of a team player, I'll be a team player. Uh, the weather. The weather. I love the weather, the food, and just uh, everything about it, honestly. But like, uh, at first, I didn't really like the weather that much because it was too cold. But it's getting warmer now, and I'm getting adjusted. Yeah. Yeah, and it's much colder here. It's much colder here. I think this is the coldest uh, country I've been, ever been to. But I heard it gets really hot as well like in the summer. So I think I'm gonna experience some of that like uh, when summer comes. And uh, when summer comes, I don't. Feel, I'm gonna feel like I'm still in the Philippines. So yes, uh, yeah, because um, I'm really close to SJ, and um, I'm close with the uh, Abando Orientos. Those guys, because uh, I played against them, and I also uh, was teammates with them in the Philippine team. So um, whenever we have an away game or like a home game that's near us, you know, we try to get together and try to catch up and try to ask each other how we are. Um, well, in the Philippines, I agree to it at some point, because um, in the Philippines, you know, uh, most um, college and uh, most uh, professional leagues uh, don't really rely much on systems, you know, because um, uh, and you know uh, it's been a stereotype all along that the uh, Philippines has a uh, playing style like a, st a street ball style, like a one on one, and um, try to beat your own guy, your own your own skill, your own talent, and it's not really based on like a system or like a team play. But you know, um, I think uh, these past few years uh, recently, it's get it's been getting better, and um, I think uh, the Philippines is more. Um, work towards more of a becoming more of a system style style of play and a more of team play because um 
past few years, you know, it, it hasn't been working for us. And I think we, we've been getting adjusted and we've also um, notified ourselves that we have to actually play as a team so that we can be much more successful, especially on the international level. Um, I think um, what uh, is different with the like, Korean players and the Filipino players here are, are, is the physicality. You know, um, we're really much more physical in the Philippines when it comes to playing uh, offense and defense. And you know, uh, in my in my opinion, I'm really still having a hard time trying to adjust to the calls of the referees because you know uh, there are some co there are some things I can do in the Philippines that I can't do here. But um, in terms of physicality, it's really different because um, Filipino players are much more physical than um, than how Korean players are uh, are um, by in my experience, you know. And I think. Um, well, Filipino players as well are really hardworking. You know, they're hardworking, and they're just um, we're, we're, we try to play with uh, with a chip on our shoulder because you know we have something to prove. We're in a, another foreign Asian country uh, that we that we kind of consider our rivals. So we try to also um, just try to you know show out and actually um, prove to people here that we belong as well. Our team, uh, Duon, uh, Duon. Uh, you know, because um, we're fellow rookies and um, G1 as well, G1, um, you know, uh, uh, Yungi, Yungi, Yungi is uh, there as well and um, a lot of other guys as well. And I mean, most of the team, you know, most of the, most of the teammates that I have in this team that are near my age, I'm really close to them and I, I really try to bond with them, even though I can't really understand a single word sometimes. So I just try to adjust. Or I just try to grab my phone and use the translate app and try to understand as much as I can. Um, difficult to approach. <laughs> um, I, I'd like to say no, no, not really, because uh, you know, uh, no disrespect to the Korean culture or anything, but you know, it's just, you know, I just think of them as people. You know, although I have respect for them, you know, I mean, it's never hard to start a conversation with them, I guess. But it's really. Well, it's hard because, you know, I can't really speak Korean and I can't talk to them as well. But, you know, I think I can approach them and just, you know, ask anything or, you know, anytime, anywhere. Um, <clears throat> well, the court, the court. well uh, sometimes um, when I'm tired and or when I'm lazy, I just stay here in the facility. You know, I try to play some video games, PS5, you know, and I try to call some of my relatives, you know, ask them how they are and all that. But when I feel like uh, I want to travel or like when I feel like a little a little, little, like I feel like a tourist, you know, I, I just want to, I just try to roam around the Korea a bit. You know, I go to Seoul, um, the city, and I go to downtown um, Suwon sometimes. And, um, you know, I try to um, really see uh, Korea, you know, because even though I'm here for work, you know, sometimes I try to kick my feet up and try to have days off and try to um, actually experience Korea as a whole with the food, with the people, with the environment. <sighs> uh, well, I think um, in terms of um, Filipinos abroad, I think I'm really famous because of my dad. You know, they, they really know my dad the most because uh, um, most Filipinos abroad are like older than I am. So like they're around the same age as my dad. So they've been following my dad because he was a, he's a legend in the Philippines. Uh, he, he's, he, he played for almost like 15 years, 16 years and um, uh, every, everyone I, you know, I encounter that's Filipino, you know, always ask me if I, like, I'm the son of uh, my dad. So uh, they really know me most as that and uh, the other stuff, you know, uh, it's, just, it's just based off of social media <laughs> and no, it's just based off of social media and uh, TikTok mostly. So. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's uh, that's for the fans to answer, not me. <laughs> I think uh, number one is Hong Sok, for sure. Um, I think I think Captain would uh, Cap Cap number two and the third one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe do one. I think I think people would like do one there in the Philippines. Um, you know, because the Philippines. Well, well, Filipinos love. Koreans and you know uh, some some of those guys look like uh, K-pop idols or like some some stuff like that. But you know uh, it's just mostly Korean Korean pop and Korean stuff 
are really trending in the Philippines and they just uh, most of the people in the Philippines just really love like watching all those K dramas and all that uh, K stuff. So yeah, yes, yes. Yonggi would be number two, four. I was about to put Yonggi there. Well, Yonggi, Yonggi looks like a celebrity in the Philippines, actually. Let me show you. <laughs> Yonggi got a look. Show it to the camera. Yonggi kind of, wait, let me look for a... a similar, more, more... Um, I don't know, just for, for me, for me, kind of looks like that. Yonggi kind of looks like a junior boy right there. Yeah, uh, he was really my number one influence because uh, uh, growing up, I'd always watch his games. You know, he'd take me in the dugout and, you know, so uh, I saw the brotherhood there and I saw the competition and I just saw how Filipinos really love basketball. And uh, I just I just really grew up thinking that that's really what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to, you know, play basketball because it's what I love doing. Um, well, he was, you know, he was proud and uh, he always told me this, uh, you know, be be more uh, approachable in the in Korea because you know sometimes in the Philippines I'm kind of uh, I'm really aloof and I'm I'm distant you know from people, but here he he really t he tells me to you know try to bond and try to be the one who approaches people here, especially your teammates and the coaches, and he just really told me to pray and um, just practice and do your best you know, because um, yeah he taught me a lot of values and he instilled a lot. And he, instant, he instilled all those values inside me, so um, uh, I, I'm good to go. Um, I don't know, uh, I feel like, uh, well, f you know, the Philippines has a lot of fans. And, uh, you know, if you put uh, the most uh, handsome looking um, KBL Filipino player there, which is Renz Abando, on it's the cover. <laughs> If you put Renzo Bando on the cover, you know, one of your magazines or, you know, definitely a lot of people would, uh, would be more, uh, would follow more on the page and, you know, and a lot of people more would um, uh, be more interested in Rookie, I think, I think. Well, uh, okay, here's the thing, because when I check my Instagram, you know, it's always flooded. So the notifications, like, go under. Celebrity pub. <laughs> So like there's a lot of stuff happening in my like uh, notification page a lot. So like whenever people would ask me like why didn't you follow me back or like you know so most of the time like why didn't I DM back most of the time because like they just go under because right? there's a lot of notifs and like I'm not me I'm not I'm not bragging or anything but that's just what happens you know. I will I will. As, uh, now that I know. So much. No not, not, now that I know about rookie you know I'll follow back. You're watching the YouTube of Rookie, the best basketball magazine in Korea. Make sure to subscribe, like, set notifications, and follow. SNS. Um, well, my individual goal really is to uh, help KT improve their standings, you know, and um, hopefully one day get into the finals and help KT win the championship. That's really what I'm looking forward to. And, you know, so far right now, um, as of now, you know, the season is uh, about to end, so my individual goal really right now is just to get more games and get more experience so that I can carry it over to the next season. Um, I just want to say uh, to all the fans in Korea and all the fans of the Philippines, of KT and myself, I just want to say thank you so much for your support. Uh, I hope you keep supporting me and the team, you know, for this upcoming sixth round of the KBL season. Um, hopefully you guys pray for us and, you know, pray for us to get into the playoffs. Because right now it's kind of a dogfight and hopefully um, we'll, be th we'll be part of the top six. So uh, we'll try our best and we'll win each and every game for you guys. Fighting! <laughs>